Most people who knew Jana Vasiri remember her laugh, her smile, and her love of art. But the laughter ended in 2011 when Jana completed suicide. She was 30 years old. She had struggled with depression throughout her youth. Jana was a cherished member of the Vasiri family, the eldest daughter of two. Soon after her death, her sister Marissa took action. Marissa decided that we needed to do something to try to help other people and help the community. That help came through the Jana Marie Foundation, an organization focusing on young women battling depression. Particularly, young people are under a lot more stress.、Uh, their schedules are are just so full.、Um, there are so many pressures and diversions around them that I think we are seeing more、uh, issues with depression. We're seeing more issues with substance abuse. Center County Commissioners appointed Tuesday, September 10th, as Suicide Prevention Day. That evening, the Jana Marie Foundation is hosting an event, an evening of hope. Healing and remembrance to honor loved ones lost and support the families left behind. To create some hope,、uh, create some inspiration, and to do some work in the area of prevention as well. The group also created a successful community education program called Straight Talk, where experts hold open forums with parents on topics from teen stress, drug abuse, and even cutting. The first of the year being held next week. If you see signs, or if there are、uh, issues that that you believe should be addressed, then you need to address them. You can't just wait. In State College, Erin Calandra, Six News.